Welcome back to Mountain Connections. We speak to our local Habitat for Humanity quite regularly here on Mountain Connections about how they are striving to provide affordable housing in our area, the many homes they are building, and much, much more. And recently I had the opportunity to speak with Habitat for Humanity's CEO about how they've teamed up with Whirlpool and about projects not only nationwide, but also in other countries. Here's our conversation. Between the pandemic and changing climate norms, our homes are even more our sanctuaries and our safe places. Unfortunately, that's not a reality for many people across the country and around the world. The need for safe and affordable housing is at an all-time high. Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford and Mark Witzer, Whirlpool's CEO, are joining us to talk about what their organizations are doing to help from a new home build site near Indiana University. It's the kickoff of a world tour to build and rehab homes. Thank you both of you for being here today. Thanks for having us, Christine. Thanks, Christine. Jonathan, what have you seen over the past year when it comes to the need for homes? Christine, what we're seeing across the world um, are similar issues you're seeing in Salt Lake City. It, even before COVID, we had a huge affordability challenge and 18 million families across the U.S. were already paying over half their income on rent or mortgage, uh, which forces them into unacceptable choices around giving up food security, medicine, education. Now with COVID, and you've seen in your local community, prices have skyrocketed, the demand for housing has gone up and yet the supply hasn't been able to keep up at all. And so we've seen huge price increases, but not uh, growth in income for, for low income families. So it's exacerbated uh, an affordability crisis. Mark, can you tell us about the House and Home Initiative? You know, Christine, Whirlpool is all about improving life at home. And what we do together with Habitat and where we give back through Habitat is very much at the core of what our company stands for. And we've been doing that for 22 years together with Habitat, um, serving 110,000 families throughout the country, throughout the world. And what we do now with this House and Home Initiative, in a certain way, is almost like a, a booster shot to affordable homes. Um, as Jonathan alluded to, it's, you know, the need is bigger than ever before, um, and there's a severe shortage of affordable homes. So we're giving $6 million in appliances and donations to kind of help build more affordable homes in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Latin America, and parts of Europe. And Jonathan, we are specifically up in Park City, Utah, and we have several habitat homes being built and planned and, you know, a big initiative underway for affordable housing here. That being said, there has been some delays because supply chain has been an issue throughout the pandemic. How is that affecting your habitat build? You know, it, it, we're seeing it in two ways. It's driving costs up, which is a, a huge problem, and to your point, it's creating some construction delays as well. So at a time where we need to dramatically increase the supply of housing, um, some of the, the supply chain issues have increased costs. The huge one for us are lumber prices, which accelerated three to 400% last year. Uh, they've come down somewhat, but still far above pre-COVID pricing. Uh, and similarly, we've seen cost increases and delays uh, in many other key inputs. So it has certainly been a challenge. And Mark, can you tell us more about the Build Better initiative? Yeah, you know, Christine, utility bills are going up everywhere. Um, it's energy bills, but it's also water. So, and of course, that impacts those the most who can afford the least. Um, that's low income families. So this initiative is about how we can drive more energy efficiency, resource efficiency, climate resilience, um, and broader sustainability for affordable homes. Um, because, you know, sustainability should not be just for expensive homes. It belongs to affordable homes as well, and it can make a huge difference on the limited monthly budgets the families have. And Jonathan and Mark, what is the purpose of the Habitat Global Housing Forums? So the housing forums and Whirlpool is a, a key sponsor are gatherings in each region of the world where we're bringing together national leaders from public sector, private sector, civil society, and academia to work on systemic changes, policies, and uh, new ideas to significantly increase the supply of housing that's affordable. So it's a, a way to really um, try to move the policy environment and share innovations. And Jonathan and Mark, where can we get more information about everything we've talked about today and especially get involved? Well, we would love everyone to get involved. It's going to take all of us if we're going to make a, a real dent in the gap. And so go to Habitat.org and you can learn how you can get personally involved and be part of the solution. 
Yeah, Christine, also from my perspective, you know, we're, as you can hear from background noise, we're calling in here from a live build at IU, and you hear a lot of students in the background hammering and building. I encourage everybody to just come and go and see a build site. Join, volunteer. You don't need to be the best carpenter. Um, and you mentioned earlier Park City, come and help before the snow comes in. So um, there's a lot of opportunities, and it's just a really rewarding experience. Well, such great information. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us today. Jonathan Rexford and Mark Bitzer, I appreciate this important information about Habitat for Humanity and encouraging us to all get involved. Thank you for your time. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Christine.